Ontario's malaise, a warning to the rest of Canada. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Another day, another warning from Ontario to the rest of Canada. And again this time, it comes with a special warning because it's attached to Justin Trudeau. And if the media and the polls are correct, there's a good chance that Trudeau could be Prime Minister of all of Canada come this fall, the 2015 federal election and that should be worrying to you when you see what's happening why because a big part of the problem in ontario is the rising cost of power the green energy policies brought about by the mcginty win liberals and who's the man chiefly responsible for that dalton mcginty's former principal secretary and now justin trudeau's top advisor gerald butts butts was one of the architects of the green energy act in ontario the one that turned away from using reliable sources of power, affordable sources of power like hydro, nuclear, coal even, to using just wind and solar, or at least pushing them and paying extraordinary rates in order to get them. That is part of the reason why Ontario has lost 300,000 manufacturing jobs between 2004 and 2014. That number, the 300,000, that's not me making it up. That is from the Mowat Centre, a liberal think tank based at the University of Toronto, whose head, the head of the Moet Centre, is currently writing Justin Trudeau's platform. So liberals themselves acknowledge that Ontario has lost a number of manufacturing jobs, and now they've just lost more. Goodyear has decided that they will not expand in Napanee, Ontario. Instead, they are going to Mexico. And once again, it has to do with the cost of power. Prince Edward County Mayor Robert Quaife says that someone close to the situation told the Ontario Wardens Caucus today the concerns surrounding dependable electricity in Napanee coupled with the rising hydro rates fueled the decision. So instead of expanding in Napanee, Ontario, Goodyear will expand their production in Mexico. Now this was not some old plant built in 1908. This was a plant opened in 1988. And when they were celebrating their 20th anniversary, well, local media reported on how this was Goodyear's most efficient. This is Goodyear's flagship plant, said Tom Hodgeboom with pride, referring to the operation's first place in the Goodyear Corporation when it comes to efficiency and waste reduction. If Goodyear's most efficient plant can't make it in Ontario due to the rising cost of electricity, what chance does anybody else have? And why is the price of electricity vital to any manufacturing business going up? It's going up due to the Green Energy Act brought in by Trudeau's chief advisor, Gerald Butts. So this has to worry you because if Butts and Trudeau take power in the general election come October, you know that they will expand their vision across the country. What does that really mean? What does it mean in full? Does it mean higher hydro rates, higher electricity rates across Canada? Well, it could mean that. But listen to what Butt said between when he left McGuinty's office, where he was principal secretary, to when he joined Trudeau's office. In between, he worked for the World Wildlife Fund, where he's a bit less constrained in what he had to say. He didn't just leak to the Huffington Post and give Glenn McGregor at the Ottawa Citizen uh, dictation notes on what to write about Trudeau. No. He spoke freely back then, and he said that Canada didn't need to just get away from expanding the oil sands, that we needed to get away from carbon completely. Truth be told, we don't think there ought to be a carbon-based energy industry by the middle of this century. That's our policy in Canada, and it's our policy all over the world. You can choose to fight this fight on locking us into a high-carbon economy for five decades, um, and I think that's a very reasonable uh, perspective to take. In fact, it's one we do take. Now think about what that means. Getting away from carbon completely it doesn't just mean shutting down jobs in big bad Alberta and shutting down those evil oil corporations. Think about what comes from oil. Everything from the gas you put in your car to, well, the little case that surrounds your iPhone, the plastics around it, all of these things. The products that come from oil, too numerous to mention, too numerous to count. But he thinks that we should just get away from oil production completely and we'll go off and live in his mythical world, which will ultimately cost more and ultimately drive out jobs in manufacturing with it. As I said, the Moet Center calculates that Ontario lost 300,000 jobs in manufacturing. It used to be 15% of the total jobs in the province of Ontario. It's down now to 10%, due in large part to the policies brought in by McGuinty, Wynne and Gerald Butts. 
Do you really want that expanded across the rest of the country? Do you really want that vision, the one that's taken Ontario from economic engine to begging have not province to be expanded across Canada? If you do, please vote for Justin Trudeau and the Liberals. But if you don't and you want sanity, consider your vote carefully.